I didn't ask you this on Sunday night after the Titans game out of respect for our friendship because I knew I had to get on a microphone the next day to speak about it. Uh, at your age, 46, with everything I just mentioned in the last question about accomplishing everything, anytime you suffer any type of downfall in performance, everybody is going to ask about, is it time to hang it up? It happens to every quarterback that plays for a long time. It happens to every single position that does it. Was there ever a thought in your mind during those two weeks stretch where you're like, uh, what if this is the time where I don't have it anymore? Was that ever happen or was it always like, I just need to fix this shit and keep it moving? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever thought that I lost it. I, I mean, that's one of those things that you, you, if I was kicking good earlier in the week, it's not like it just disappears. I just, like I said before, and I said to you, uh, I didn't want to to hurt my team. You know, they're too good. They're, you know, it's too hard to win games, and you know, you you lose some games early. It's hard to get them back later on. So. You know, I that was one of those things that I didn't feel like I lost it. I didn't want to hang it up. I wasn't going to do any of that type of stuff. Um, but but I wanted to figure it out and fix it right away. I think, I mean, there's plenty of critics out there that were talking plenty of stuff, but nobody was more more hard on on me than I was on myself, to be honest with you. So I was I was a little frustrated in 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 trying to figure it out. But it, there wasn't a time where. Listen, in, in the in the world that we're living in now, um, it's really easy to give up or turn your back. But but um, I was I, that was never a thought of mine. I I've got kids and I've got you know what kind of what kind of example are you showing if when times get tough you just turn around and 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 you you take the easy way out. That that's never been in me and nor will it ever be. So I mean, there's times where people go through tough times there's times where you lose your job if you're not doing the right stuff but walking away and and turning my back on my team and or my family because because they're my family i'm talking guys in the locker room i was never i i sat there and said i'm going to work harder and if and, and work my way out of it and and that's what i'm still planning on doing and one game doesn't change anything i had a decent game this weekend but that nothing ever is changed as far as that's concerned um, because I had a nice game this last week doesn't mean that I'm not going to work just as hard this week or harder this week to make sure it stays that way let's go <laughs> okay <laughs> hey you just got me ready to run through a wall right there bro that was an incredible let's go hey that was a real moment right there that we just had you and I I mean I don't know how many of those happened but that was a fucking awesome moment right there I appreciate it. Well, I, I just the way I feel. I mean, it's just it's sometimes in life, people people want to, especially nowadays, it just seems like people want to take the easy way out. And, and what are we teaching our kids by doing stuff like that? And that's, I'm not saying that's the easy way out. I'm just, I'm just saying in general, like, I, I've always said it to my kids, you know, you, you look yourself in the mirror and you do everything you can. And sometimes bad things happen or sometimes things don't work out well. But at the end of the day, uh, you do everything you can, and, and you should be able to look at yourself in the mirror and go, you know what, I, I did what I, you know, I, I did the best I could. And, and at any time, there was never a thought that I was just going to walk away. Absolutely not. I want to let you know, that's going to get quoted by everybody right there. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm just letting you know. Vinatieri never once thought about retirement. Fuck everybody that was talking about that. <laughs> um, well, that better not be the quote. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> 